Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. This video will cover the DIG B09D hose end irrigation timer. This easy to program battery powered model uses a single 9 volt battery. Today, we are going to explain some of the important features of this timer, show you how to program it, and enter a simple watering schedule. Before we get to that, we need to install the battery. We'll begin by removing the timer from the packaging. Take the owner's manual and set it aside for future reference. Turn the timer so the back side is facing up and open the battery compartment door. Align the contacts with the male-female terminals and press the battery contacts into the connector. Finally, close the battery compartment door by placing the bottom edge first and then pushing the top of the door down until it snaps. The B09D is programmed by using the four buttons below the display. The mode button is pressed to select which mode to program or review. Icons will appear on the display to indicate which mode has been selected. The plus and minus buttons are used to change the entry when it is flashing. The right arrow button is pressed to make the display flash. The off button is used to activate the rain mode or to close the timer in a manual mode. The on button is used to open the timer in the manual mode. Like any other irrigation timer, there are three modes that need to be set by the user the watering duration, the watering days, and the start time. But before we do that, on this model, we must first enter the current time of day and day of the week. Let's begin by pressing the mode button and selecting the current time mode. Look for the clock icon to appear in the upper left corner of the screen. Then press the right arrow button and the hours digits will flash. Now you can change it to show the current hour by pressing the plus or minus buttons. AM and PM is also selected in this mode by just advancing the number past 12. When finished, press the right arrow button and make the minutes flash. Now press the plus or minus buttons to finish setting the current time. Next, we need to set the current day of the week. Press the right arrow button again and check the flashing square on the top of the screen. If necessary, move it so it is under the current day of the week by pressing the plus or minus buttons. To set the watering duration or run time, press the mode button until the hourglass icon appears on the left side of the screen. The hours digit will be flashing. To set a duration of 10 minutes, change the first digits to 0 by pressing plus or minus. Then, press the right arrow button again to make the minutes flash and press plus or minus until the display shows 0, 1, 0, 0 hours, 10 minutes. The B09D can be set to water on any or all days of the week. A black square will appear on the top of the display under the water days. To check or change the water days, press the mode button until the days icon appears on the left side of the screen. Then press the right arrow button. The square under Monday will flash. To make Monday a watering day, press the plus button. Or to make Monday a non-watering day, press the minus button. This will deselect Monday and make the square under Tuesday flash. To make Tuesday a watering day, press the plus button, or to deselect Tuesday, press the minus button. Repeat this process to select the rest of your watering days. When finished, only the watering days should have squares under them. The last mode that needs to be set is the start time, which is the time of day that the timer opens. The B09D has a total of four start times available per day. To check or change the start times, press the mode button until the alarm clock icon appears in the lower left corner of the screen. Start 1 will appear first and the hours digit will be flashing. To change the starting hour, press the plus or minus buttons, then press the right arrow button to change the minutes. Press the mode button again and start 2 and the word off will appear on the screen. To enter a second start time, just press the plus or minus buttons and then follow the same steps to set the second start time. The third and fourth start times are set in the same manner. To delete any start time, 
we need to change the starting hour until the word off appears. The word off appears between 11 p.m. and 12 a.m. First, push the mode button and bring up the start time you want to delete. The hour digit will be flashing. Now just push the plus or minus button repeatedly until the word off appears. Then push the mode button until the timer shows the current time. That's it, the timer is all programmed and ready to go. To open the timer manually, all you need to do is push the on button. After doing so, the water will flow, the sprinkler icon will appear on the display, and it will show the current watering duration. At this point, you can temporarily increase or decrease the duration by pushing the plus or minus button. Or you can just let it run and the timer will close when the duration is finished. To stop the manual run before the duration has expired, just push the off button. The timer will close and the screen will revert back to show the current time. To prevent the timer from watering automatically without turning off the faucet, simply push and hold the off button for about two seconds. After doing so, the rain off icon will appear in the lower right corner of the screen. The timer will still function in the manual mode, but it won't water by program until it's taken out of the rain mode. To do so, hold down the off button again. Only new 9 volt alkaline batteries should be used in the DIG B09D hose end timer. After installing the battery, it takes about 2 minutes for the timer to assess the battery strength, which will be displayed on the battery strength indicator on the bottom of the screen. It's a good idea to check this indicator periodically, because if the battery gets too low, the timer won't open. It's also a good idea to remove the battery if the timer won't be used for a prolonged period of time. The B09D is now programmed and ready to install on any standard outdoor faucet. To discover more details on this model or any of the water-saving products from DIG, please log on to our website, digcorp.com. Thanks for watching.